My name is Andy Petrowski, and I'm the Chief Learning Officer at uh, NewPaz. So NewPaz is an IT workforce development training provider. Uh, we focus on uh, training people to enter entry-level technology job roles in six-month IT training programs that are based around industry-recognized IT certifications. The program we have with Harrisburg University in Richmond is a three-part um, program that is based around our technical support specialist program. So students can take uh, part one and two while in high school, and those uh, are two separate courses. Students can enroll in one or the other or both. Uh, the first course is a foundations and information technology course, and the second course is a a course in fundamentals of productivity software, which focuses on Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Outlook. Uh, students can earn up to three industry recognized IT certifications and five college credits through uh, the high school part of the program. And then if students wish to continue and complete the full technical support specialist program, they can do so after they graduate high school and then finish out the rest of, of the program, including an additional, uh, uh, actually three additional certification exams uh, and three additional college credits. So NewPass focuses on um, training people in and developing the skills uh, for entry-level IT job roles. So that can include, uh, depending on the program that you're in, like the Technical Support Specialist Program, uh, a help desk job role. So someone who is helping people with um, their computer you know, troubles, uh, you know, connection issues, uh, software issues, just formatting issues, you know, rebuilding computers, um, getting, you know, configuring new machines, installing new operating systems. They can do that um, at businesses, um, you know, big box stores like Best Buy and others that have, uh, you know, uh, large computer inventories that they're selling and servicing uh, and uh, even working independently. Uh, and then uh, through our other IT programs in network technician and IT security analysts, students may be working again in troubleshooting technology issues around networks or security. Uh, in a lot of cases, they're also monitoring those systems and reporting issues and working with a team um, to mitigate those issues. Uh, and then we also have programs in digital marketing and project management that are roles and jobs that are outside of the IT department, but still heavily focused on technology, um, but more focused on working um, in other business operations like marketing uh, and project management, um, sometimes involving the IT department, um, but not necessarily part of the IT team. So the New Pass program is a uh, unique program in that students can continue in the program regardless of their success in a previous course. Obviously, um, the more success you have in an earlier course, the more likely you are to have success in the future. Um, but we actually build upon each of those learning opportunities in each course. Um, so if a student were to fail a, a course and not complete it, um, they would be able to really continue on in the program, um, build those um, you know build on those skills that they learned even though they might not have passed the course as they continue on into the next courses um, so we don't necessarily do um, course retakes however again certification exams are a big part of our uh, program and a big part of the credentials that students leave the program with and if a student doesn't pass a certification exam the first time they are able to to retake that exam and uh, that is part of the tuition in many cases uh, and also something that we work with the students on. So there is an opportunity um, for those certification exam retakes. The New Paths courses um, for the three-part high school program that we were just talking about, um, those courses are uh, while in high school are eight weeks or 10 weeks. The first course is eight weeks, the second course is 10 weeks. The programs in general, if someone were to enroll in the program uh, as a post-secondary option after graduating high school are six months long. So the pay range uh, for the entry level IT and technology job roles that students are getting out of the new pass programs are anywhere from 17 to $27 an hour. Um, and students often, we often find that students um, will start in an entry level uh, job role and based off of their training and experience in the new pass program, um, they'll quickly move up to more advanced positions and a better pay, you know, an increased pay range. Uh, 17 to 27 is a great pay range to start at, um, but we also find students move beyond that after about six months. Uh, and we have had graduates who have started in that range, have gotten 
advancement um, after six months and then after a year or two at an initial position uh, they've moved on to to more advanced positions and have pay ranges in the fifty to sixty thousand dollar a year range just after a year or two in in the industry so new paths is a collaboration between harrisburg university uh pankaj argarwal the ceo of new paths and myself uh, i'm the chief learning officer of new paths and we built a uh, new paths based off of a need for more people with it skills entering the job market there's a huge gap uh in it um uh, employment in IT skills. So there are a lot of IT jobs out there and in a lot of cases, not enough people to fill those jobs. And IT has become the lifeblood of um, really our society uh, in a lot of cases, but also many, you know, all businesses and all industries. So not having those skilled IT workers um, really impacts the, you know, productivity and, and really the advancement of those uh, those companies and those organizations to be able to do uh, the types of projects and the ty offer the types of services they want so there's just a huge demand there and a huge need uh, and at the same time you know not everyone wants to go or can go to a, a degree program um, they may not want you know to take the time they may not want to spend the money um, in, in some cases there's also you know debt that's a, a component of that that they may not want to take on at this time um, so new paths is a way for those students to enter the IT workforce and fill that job demand need in a shorter period of time with uh, in, in you know a, a, a less uh, a less lesser tuition a more more affordable tuition in the short term but they're also earning college credits and so that college degree is still important as part of long-term career um, success and longevity so students can enter the workforce and then come back into higher education to pursue a bachelor's degree uh, or a degree of some sort. And oftentimes, if they're working, their employer will then pay for that degree. So it's a little bit of a different path to uh, a bachelor's degree uh, in, in the long run, but it is a, a way for students to um, begin working in the field right away, um, see if it's for them, you know, begin to get earning power, begin to work with an employer who will fund their future education and support them in that education as well. So we see new paths expanding in the um, number of students that we serve, as well as the geographic areas that we serve and the, and the types of students that we serve, as well as offering additional programs um, in more advanced uh, IT training for mid-level uh, type of IT jobs, maybe for people who already have some IT experience or students who have taken our entry level um, you know, job role programs and, and want some uh, additional training, um, whether that's immediately after you know, finishing an entry level program or it's after a, a few years of working in the industry. Uh, and, um, you know, we're, we're always looking for additional partners to work with, whether that be school districts or employers um, who can, um, you know, work with us to help to educate students, but also to place them in, you know, great job opportunities and share their experiences with them uh, in uh, what the world of IT is like, um, how they got to where they are in IT and, and the types of opportunities that are in the IT field. So I really I didn't see myself uh, necessarily in the position I am today. I, I started out um, with a, a career in marketing. Uh, so that um, was something that I did for about four years out of an undergraduate uh, college and then uh, decided on a change in careers into uh, curriculum design and, and instructional design. Uh, I was never uh, the greatest student um, but but began to excel as I got into college and, and was able to pursue some things that were a little bit more passionate and had the benefit of you know having some instructors that really had some unique teaching styles and really were able to bring the content alive. So um, you know that was something that um, was a, a really good experience for me and I saw a need and I had an interest in really um, you know, being a part of that evolution of learning and training and education um, to where it is today, where there's a, a number of different um, modalities and methodologies and technologies that are incorporated into training. So um, what I'm doing today is an offshoot of that uh, after working in, in the um, training and educational design field for, you know, uh, 15 or so years and coming to Harrisburg University and working with them in uh, they're, uh, you know, in, in um, learning technologies for the university as well as in the Master of Science program and now working with, uh, with New Paths.
So I would recommend uh, anyone who's exploring a career, whether that's their first career or a career change, is to you know do some research, talk with people uh, who are in the field, you know, understand how the job is going to fit in with the rest of your life. Um, I've heard a number of stories of people who have gone to college to be aerospace engineers and did great in that program and love the field and love it. Uh, you know, love the technology, but then realize that there were only really four places in the U.S. where they could get a job working in that field. So, you know, that's the type of thing you want to find out before you invest the time in and energy into the the education and the training. Uh, you know, do a job shadow. Uh, again, talk with people who are working in the field and learn a little bit more. You know, do some online research about salaries and the types of pathways into those careers. Uh, not all careers, you know, require a, a degree right out of the uh, right out of the gate. Some of them may not even require uh, certifications. Uh, you know, you may be able to get started in a variety of different ways uh, in that field and, and understand, you know, the long term plan for your 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 time in that career as well as you know uh, just how you're even going to get started uh, you know with uh, an initial pay range initial way of getting the job initial skills that are needed and initial locations where those jobs and types of companies uh, where those jobs are located